being uh, able to cheer people on and be cheered on as I'm sweating through these. Being able to uh, just do the watts. Never had I ever dreamed I could do CrossFit, let alone some of the workouts that we've done in, within the Open so far. Um, just being able to finish all the competitions, because last year I knew there was so much I couldn't do, and this year there's a lot I can. When I screamed at the end of it, when I, was, when I dropped that bar and started screaming. Almost beating Margaret. <laughs> this is all about beating Margaret. <laughs> I would say my, my most fulfilling moment during the BCCC was watching Jen, Jen Fitzhugh, and Scott compete against each other. Just the camaraderie of the teams. It's actually kind of fun. The Saturday workouts, even though they're kind of long in the day, but they're, it's a lot of fun. Uh, my most fulfilling moment was yesterday doing 16.4, getting past the rower and into the push-ups. Okay, so I, I, for me, just being here, um, even right now today, is my most fulfilling moment because, as, as Eric reminds me, two years ago, I couldn't really move. My body sort of had to fall apart before we put it back together. So I'm just really proud of myself for being here. I don't know if I, I can say that I've had one moment that has been particularly fulfilling. Um, I always feel like, you know, uh, if anything, I've become a lot calmer before a workout and just realize it's just a workout and I just have to uh, just push through it. 16-4 uh, was pretty awesome. Um, I did better than a lot of people in the RX, so that, I really liked that. It was my kind of workout. Uh, I also liked 16-2 also. Getting almost all the way through that was pretty pretty awesome feeling. As far as my most fulfilling moment, watching people really take themselves through that uh, discomfort to really see what they were capable of, and then watching them realize that like, oh shit, I do have this in me. That was pretty awesome. Probably during, I feel like 16.1 was, was the greatest moment whenever, um, just feeling like I had worked harder than I had ever worked before, and then I was able to show people that didn't think that I could do something that I could. Actually, I really enjoyed Amanda. Like, she's just been really, really growing and making gains and getting stronger and stronger and feeling better and better about herself. And I like that a lot. That's, I've enjoyed that the most, I'd say. Most fulfilling moment for me was uh, probably even the first week. I was just coming off the flu. Um, it was a 20 minute workout. It was doing overhead lunges, which I had never done before. Um, so just to get, sort of get through that and feel like, okay, now I'm ready for the next you know, four or five weeks of this. I, I was just happy to, to survive that one. Just like high-fiving everyone at the end was fun. My most fulfilling moment was being able to do the RX division on the 16.3 uh, since mastering my muscle up. Uh, Saturday. Unfortunately, I could only make one Saturday wad, but uh, this on 16.4 I was here, and there must have been 30 people cheering, yelling, screaming, uh, and made it farther than I thought possible. So. Uh, that was just a great, great experience and a great uh, environment to be working out in. I would say my most fulfilling moment has been each of the Saturday mornings when a majority of the competitors are here and we're just cheering each other on, going through the heats. Um, I've generally been in the first heat, but it's been so fun to stay and see everybody uh, throughout the entire morning and just be there for one another. At the very end of that first workout. Um, again, on the first week, redoing the workout. I, I never thought I would redo that workout. It was, it was miserable the first time and kind of being uh, pushed to do it a second time. I'm glad I did, and I blew my first score out of the water. I thought that was a, a great moment. Uh, my most fulfilling moment, um, there's a couple of, I, I've been, as a as having taken the judges course, being able to judge, um, I've had a lot of, like you get to see people go through hell um, every time they do one of the workouts. And so getting to see them finish each time uh, it's been extremely rewarding, for sure. 55 deadlifts, because when I first did CrossFit two years ago, my my one rep max deadlift was 225, so 55 is a lot. Uh, I like beating people, <laughs> so and then beating my time, so being able to redo it and doing it better, I like that a lot. Yesterday, uh, when I completed... Uh, 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 16.5. Um, uh, I had, I have to admit, I was probably most nervous about going into that. Uh, and I feel like I completed it in good form and I feel stronger than ever before. In my most fulfilling moment, um, when we did the, I think it was like 
16.3. It's the one where you had to do toes to bar, 16.2 toes to bar. And then the double unders, I only got through one round the first time I tried it. And I knew, I knew that I could do two rounds. And so I tried it again on like a couple days later and I did. And I actually made it to the second round. So that I think was my most fulfilling moment. Those muscle ups as well. Um, you know, unfortunately we didn't do, we, I don't, I didn't think we did anything too heavy. So I uh, would have liked to see something heavier, but the muscle ups definitely would, probably would have been it. Just finishing up the workouts with with everybody else, I think that was that was awesome. I mean, just keeping up the pace with the people around here, just having fun with the people around here. Um, I didn't care about the times. Uh, week one, 16.1, I came to the Saturday workout. It's actually the only one I've been able to attend. And just the camaraderie and the fun atmosphere and that type of competition always makes you push harder. So I think that was the best part. Watching my team week after week go out there hit those workouts hard, uh, and come out victorious. I mean, they did it such an amazing job. The spirit, the dedication, I've never seen that before. I think uh, what, every time I redid the workouts, uh, especially this last one with the handstand push-ups, uh, I felt really good because I did better. <laughs> uh, pretty much when 16.5 was like over. Um, the first one was horrible, 16.1. Uh, and I had my brothers and my daughter here watching so when I finally finished I was just like gonna die and then they handed her to me and I was like oh my god she was all worried it was so sweet and that was a very awesome moment being done yesterday <laughs> like that was really torturous 30 minutes I was very slow uh, but the feeling afterwards of being done and knowing that that was five weeks done was probably pretty great, yeah. <laughs>